Hello and welcome to Doing More. I'm Erica Cardenas. It's the start of a brand new decade. By now, a lot of people have kicked off their New Year's resolution. So here at Doing More, we decided to direct our attention to honoring the brave men and women who have served and are serving our great nation. Every year on Veterans Day, Americans across the nation take pride in honoring our current and past military service men and women. But once the parade ends and the music stops, sadly, so does the expressions of gratitude to those who wore the uniform. As veterans transition back to civilians, there are a countless number of organizations that understand the challenges they face. One of these organizations is Cox Communications, who is committed to supporting veterans, reservists, and their family members. The Southwest Region Veterans ERG Program, also known as SALUTE, uh, is a, a veteran uh, employee resource group here at Cox Communications that focuses on supporting veterans within the company and in the community. We don't just focus on veterans, we focus on active duty and reservist personnel as well. The first thing we try to do is raise awareness about the different veteran initiatives that are going on in the community, different veteran holidays. We do that through articles and uh, events here on campus. The second thing we try to do is support veterans. We do that through volunteerism in our group. We coordinate um, lots of volunteer activities with different organizations around Arizona and Las Vegas and Tucson and then uh, the third thing we try to do is just raise awareness about our active duty uh, military that are serving abroad uh, we've done that through campaigns like uh, Red Fridays remember everyone deployed so you wear red shirts on Fridays we've done uh, numerous things to try to just raise awareness about veterans active duty and community service I was always mystified by the military. It was just something that I, I was interested in. I, I actually didn't really think that I would go in until I was in college. I went in for a sense of adventure, also the legal branch of the military, so I thought that would be great experience. There's so many ways in which we serve. Um, one of my favorite ways is we actually go out into the community as a group and we serve other nonprofits that are um, supporting our, our veterans. Creating a sense of community amongst veterans, that camaraderie that a lot of us miss when we get out, it is a huge support and there's not anything that we wouldn't do for each other. I joined the military uh, the first time when I was 17 years old and I always had a strong uh, call to, to serve. Cox has always celebrated Veterans Day, but when the Veterans ERG was launching, it was a good opportunity to launch our ERG and combine it with the Veterans Day celebration. And with that, we were able to combine what the community relations team does with our Veterans ERG, and then the diversity and inclusion team also uh, contributed. Also, we had Cox OSP contributing, so they were doing their own thing, so we combined all our efforts to assist with flag raising ceremony. Cox Communications is by far the best place I've ever worked. It allows us to do things like the Southwest Veterans ERG. They're supportive of veterans. They're supportive of all their employees. It really allows us to live the brand that Cox talks about. Within the ERG and within my my team at, at Cox Business is really an extended family. At Veterans ERG, I feel like it's just like another arm. You know, it's like it's a way that Cox Communications continue to serve the community and also have some commonality with each other. The flag reminds me of, of all the people that came before me and served, and all the people that will serve after me. Um, I still get the chills every time I, I see the national anthem at a sporting event. So it's just uh, I have a great pride in the flag in, in the United States of America. The mission of the Southwest Region Veterans Employee Resource Group, or ERG, is a program to be a catalyst for fostering a diverse and inclusive workplace environment aligned with Cox's mission and values. I'll be back with more on Doing More right after this. Doing More salutes our veterans. Thank you for your service. Welcome back to Doing More. We're here at Cox Communications Call Center celebrating our brave military men and women through the Veterans ERG program. 
The Veterans ERG program is also designed to engage with service members and veterans. Some examples are to create leads for job opportunities, increase self-identification, and conduct community service events directly supporting veterans in the Southwest region. Now let's take a look at a foundation in New England dedicated to empowering children to help others. My name is Alan Sean Feinstein and I'm the founder of the Feinstein Foundation. Feinstein Foundation was established to make youngsters feel they were special and make them do things to reach out to help other people. Had made a great deal of money in the business world. I started a financial newsletter and the fact that I was an international columnist gave me quite a bit of heft, but I really wanted to do something for children. So I decided to establish the Feinstein Foundation, put money into it, and reach out to as many schools and youngsters as I possibly could. Feinstein Leadership Schools, I think there are 176 now, and they're schools that really pledge to make junior scholars to encourage their youngsters to reach out and do good deeds for others. We supply them with journals for their youngsters to keep their good deeds in and at the back of the journal is a very special junior scholar card that has on it many places that they and their guests can go absolutely free. We ask them to hold on to one of their junior scholar cards because when they apply to college and they get a leg up on our scholarship money. Math was always my strong suit and I enjoyed it. So I just wanted to help fellow students and I did that for a few years in high school. So one of the high school guidance counselors came to me about the Lewis Feinstein Memorial Scholarship and it was for people who were doing some kind of public service, which I was doing the tutoring, and people who were going into the public service field. So I was going to be an educator, and I always tell my students that when Mr. Feinstein comes to visit, that it's because of him that I am able to do what I can do. The values that are taught through this program, I believe, are vitally important. We're shaping our future, and if kids don't learn how important it is to help other people, the world is not going to be a better place, and we want to make the world a better place one good deed at a time. This is our treasure, the children that we are going to leave behind us, and I am been privileged to play such a role in their young lives. See you later, alligator! Every time you do something that makes somebody smile, you make the world a better place, and that makes you a very special person. While in New England, we visited an organization that motivates and supports youth through the power of mentorship. Take a look. I'm Joanne Schofield. I'm the president and CEO of Mentor Rhode Island. Mentor Rhode Island is a statewide agency where we run several school-based mentoring programs, but we also offer support to a network of over 60 mentoring programs in the state. Mentor Rhode Island started over 30 years ago as a subcommittee of the Central Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce, really doing a lot of workforce development work. Kids were coming out of school and they didn't have the soft skills that they needed. They weren't on time, they didn't know how to make eye contact, shake hands, and really bring the skills that they needed to the workplace. We started a mentoring program with just 10 kids in one Warwick Elementary School and 10 mentors from MetLife, and it's really just blossomed into a statewide network now where we have over 5,000 kids. My name is Zachary Champlin, and I got started with mentoring in fifth grade. I actually asked for a mentor and wanted to try out the program. I kind of pushed it with my administrators at the time and I got a mentor after a few months named Ed. He is my family. He legit has been there for me through a lot of dark times and my family likes him. My family actually loves him, you know. He's pretty much my main father figure that I use and uh, help my confidence and all that. Well, my name's Doug Schobel. I've been involved with the program for about 20 years now and love it. I mean, the kids are awesome, the, the directors, the CEO, Joe, uh, who you've met. Just everyone's fantastic. 
I think we all need a mentor. Um, you know, no matter what walk of life you're in, what business, you know, I have business mentors, I have mentors in different parts of my life, and I think mentor is just a support, a friend, an unconditional person off of whom you bounce things. There are a lot of different opportunities that can fit in your life very easily. I'm excited to introduce my mentee, uh, mentee to you. This is Manus. Manus is the man. I think you'll see him on Sundays one day, whether it be in the NBA, the NFL, he could be a NASA scientist. Dude is so smart, he's got the world at his fingers. I would say for anybody who wants a mentor, to go for it. I would say that having a mentor is a good thing. You can make new friends from mentoring. If you're thinking about doing it, absolutely do it. If you haven't thought about doing it, you do it too, <laughs> because it's that easy and it's that important. The Mentor Rhode Island program has statewide mentoring services made up of 60 mentor programs, 5,000 youth, and 4,000 mentors. Sign up today to become a mentor and make a difference. Welcome back to Doing More, where we shine a light on the good things happening in our communities. We're here at a training room in Cox Communications, kicking off the new year, celebrating our veterans. Did you know that the Veterans ERG program has been dedicated to sponsor a program at Arizona's Luke Air Force Base? The mission is to present its airmen with career opportunities at Cox Enterprises. We also travel to San Diego, California to visit an organization that is serving individuals, families, and veterans who are emerging out of homelessness. comes home they are express such joy and they're crying and laughing and jumping and it, it, I mean it's w wonderful to watch and we know we've only been there a few hours but we know it was where, where it was when we started and what uh, we're giving them as a foundation for their future and I recommend that anyone who hasn't experienced this go on to humbledesign.org and look at the videos of people finding these homes and you'll want to be calling and helping immediately. I started Humble Design really through a friend of mine who was in need. I was volunteering at a nonprofit and I met the woman who ran the front desk. And she was wonderful and lovely, but I soon found out that she was homeless. She was able to secure housing, but she had nothing to furnish the home with. And when I went to go visit her, it broke my heart that her and her children were sleeping on the floor with the little nest that they had made with their coats. So I knew how much excess I had in my own home, and then I knew how much excess my neighbors had. So I began asking for furniture for her, and I soon became known as the Furniture Lady. And that was the birth of Humble Design. choked up during this application process, I had to fight back tears, I had to go take a drink of water. They find out what you want deep in your heart and then they try to, they, they make every attempt to give that to you. If there's only one thing that people need to know about helping the homeless, I would say that everything that you give to them, you will receive back. And you will go away with a sense of well-being and happiness for what you've helped to do. And they go forward um, in a much more secure way and a way for their family to truly have joy. Hoya Cosmetic Surgery Center. Jesus, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Muchas gracias. All of you, all of you, amazing. Wonderful work, wonderful. You changed my life. I can bring my kids here, and everybody who doubted me, they can come here and just be like, you know, Michael has a home, that's right. Now let's take a look at what happened when hundreds of students received a surprise visit from Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and Cox volunteers. Cox volunteers! 
We're here at our 24th annual Capital School Toy Drive. It all started with one of our employees who found out about a need at this particular school and rounded up some toys with our employees. And now here we are 24 years later, every single year, Cox employees donate enough toys for the entire school. So every child receives a wrapped gift for Christmas. We partner with Cox Communications and they are able to bring in a present for every single one of our students from kindergarten through eighth grade. And it's just a nice way for us to partner with Cox. It just lets them know that the community cares about it. Days like this, particularly for these students, it means so much. Uh, for some of them, they might not have an opportunity to open a present at Christmas. And so it really does mean a lot to them to, to be here, to be together with their friends, and to be able to share in the joy of just receiving something for Christmas. It really makes it all worth it when you see the smiles on their faces and they're, they're so happy to receive something and share that excitement with their friends. This is our favorite event of the year. And it is a chance for us to reach out to the community and really make a great Christmas for these kids at Capitol School. I've been here for 17 years and I've watched kids since it's kindergarten through eighth grade. We watch them every year kind of grow up. So that's really fun for us. This year we've invited Rich Barra from John Jay and Rich. He's a published author. So last year he came out with his first youth Christmas book, which was Christmas Steve, and he has the sequel to that book, Christmas Steve Meets Christmas Carol. Each student in second and third grade will get both books that were written by Rich, and he has signed them as well. Anytime that you get to see something that you create and share it with people um, like the kids here at Capitol School is it's pretty awesome. Um, now I gotta, I gotta not cry somehow when I'm reading the book, but uh, we just read um, a book I wrote for kids called The Tale of Christmas Steve to the second grade class. And thanks to Cox, we were able to give all the kids in that classroom a book to tape, take home, to keep forever, which is really special. It's amazing to give back to the community, especially because most of the students here maybe only get this one present for Christmas and they they look forward to it and like I said, they're very grateful to have that and they appreciate it. It is our biggest responsibility to make sure that, that kids know that they're loved, they're cared for and that we expect them to do great things. We look forward to the event, Cox looks forward to the event, but just being able to put the smiles on the, on the kids' face is just, it, it's priceless. Bringing us closer, it's what we're about at Cox Communications. We're so proud to be here in partnership with Capital Elementary School, allowing us to come back every year for 24 years. It really is a fantastic partnership, and it's one that we look forward to for many more years. Created by Cox employees 24 years ago, the Capital School toy delivery continues to bring joy and smiles to the faces of students, teachers, and Cox volunteers. Truly a wonderful way of doing more. We'll be right back. Doing more salutes our veterans. Thank you for your service. Welcome back to Doing More. We're kicking off the new year by honoring our veterans and active military members all year round. Our final stop was Las Vegas, where we had a chance to visit the Salvation Army's food drive, which was filled with hope and gratitude for families and veterans. Take a look. We are here from the Salvation Army to collect food that the Cox employees, 1,700 of them, have collected for our clients for the 20th year in a row, and we are so excited. It's just the partnership that we have with Cox is amazing throughout the year. Today we're marking the 20th anniversary of the food drive that Cox Communications has done for the Salvation Army. So for the last 20 years, the employees here, and we've got about 1,400 employees here in Las Vegas, have been collecting food. We can give to the Salvation Army so they can serve their clients as they're serving the neighborhood. One of our mandates currently is to avoid homelessness for people, to either help the homeless that are already homeless, or of course, those that are housed, but run out of money before the end of the month, to be able to stay in their homes. And a lot of people are having to choose between food and rent. 
and we want to make it easier for them. So we have a food pantry where they can come and get a week or so's worth of food for the family and they shop like they were in a grocery store but they don't have to pay a bill at the end. And the food that's supplied through Cox and other partners that we have makes all of that possible for those people that just would not be able to eat at the end of a month. Especially this time of year, you know, when people are celebrating, there's times of joy, not everybody is able to experience that. And sometimes there's a little bit of shortage at the table, so what the Salvation Army is doing as they do the most good in the neighborhood is to offer a hand up for people that need some assistance. So we're able to partner with them, provide some food for them, and then they can use this food to distribute where the need is most needed in the neighborhood. In addition to all the other things that Cox has done for us, this food drive is a staple in our annual calendar and we are so appreciative of the generosity of all the people who work here and support our clients at the Salvation Army. Cox is just amazing. We divide ourselves into three or four different departments and there's a little competition um, that we give a little award for whoever brings the most food in to give to the Salvation Army. So people are starting to hoard food underneath their desks and in back closets and stuff like that. And there's never a big reveal until the day of and then all of a sudden everybody brings their food in. So we just gave the award yesterday for the department that had the most food coming in for a great cause like the Salvation Army. Let me present you with the wonderful winner's belt that you can proudly hang in the office for now. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The generosity that Cox has shown towards Salvation Army over the last 20 years is just exemplified again this year. People going above and beyond themselves to help people that are in need in the community. And that's part of the DNA of what Cox Communications is all about. How do we engage the community and do the most good in the community in partnership with organizations like the Salvation Army? Mac and cheese! I want to thank the veterans, ERG leaders, and Cox Communications for sharing this amazing and inspiring program with us. As we go into a new decade and make our resolutions for the upcoming years, let's not forget one resolution we must always keep. To take a moment and remember our military heroes who have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. Although we can't truly repay the debt we owe our brave troops and veterans, we can always honor them with a simple gesture of gratitude. So let's continue to say thank you throughout the new year. I'm Erica Cardenas. See you next time.